Welcome to video four in the series, five things that will make you a better power platform builder. In this video, we'll look at staying current. What does a skydiver and a power platform solution builder have in common? Staying current. When you learn to skydive, and even once you're certified, you have to do something called remaining current. That means you have to do a certain amount of jumps in a certain time period to prove that you still know what you're doing. When it comes to building things in the power platform, how does a power platform solution builder stay current and why do they need to? The why they need to is actually quite easy. If you think two years back, we didn't have power pages. We didn't have the modern building experience in Dataverse. We had, I think, about 150 connectors. We now have over 700. We have PowerFX, which is now our GA. So much has changed in the platform. If you didn't stay current with what was actually available and what had changed, and in some cases what had been removed, you'd still be building things the old way or building things the same way you did two years ago. And that will never be the case where that actually works really well. So staying current and up to date on what Microsoft are doing on the Power Platform, what features they're bringing in, what features they're enhancing, and, and what's available for you in your toolkit to be a Power Platform builder is incredibly important. Here's how I remain current. I look at the Microsoft Power Platform blogs. As you can see on screen, there's a Power Platform blog which looks at all the different parts of Power Platform. There's a specific blog for Power BI. Most of the blogs have an option for you to enroll via email um, or to follow the feed through some sort of RSS. We have a blog for Power Virtual Agents, which is one of the really cool creator tools available for us. We have a Power Pages blog. Um, we have blogs for Power Automate. And we even have a specific blog that looks at the connector framework as well. I said all these are available. They're regularly updated. They typically have subcategories and easy to, easy to get to navigation that allows you to get through to the part of that specific uh, product that you want to remain up to date in. But this is not the only way you can remain current. You can also remain current by looking at content provided by Microsoft MVPs. So let's have a look at a couple of the ones that I follow and um, that I would highly recommend that you follow as well. So let's start off with uh, the GOAT, Shane Young. Shane has got some of the most amazing videos on how to technically do things inside the Power Platform with a large focus um, specifically on Power Apps. Uh, Lisa Crosby does wonderful things when it comes to modern work in Dataverse and CRM. April Dunham, cross the board, Power Apps, Power Automate, Model Driven, Power Virtual Agents, everything super articulate, very great videos, and also does a solution video. Reza Durrani does the most slickest videos, builds a lot of applications end to end and provides you with access to them. And if you're in the SharePoint world and want to understand the crossover, Laura Rogers or Wonder Laura is a phenomenal resource. She does a power hour where she actually runs through building things. You also have Microsoft Power Apps and Power Apps Solutions in uh, YouTube that publish technical videos. They also publish business videos on the purposes behind what they're doing. They have a couple of really good resources and you can also follow Power Chat, which uh, is not a bad place to have a look. Uh, a growing channel with a few subscribers. Feel free to jump in and, and uh, click the subscribe button on the Power Chat channel. It would be quite boring to have to go through these all the time. So how can you get the information to come to you? Power Automate. If you go to Power Automate, go through the templates, go to the search bar across the top, um, just type in blogs. You'll see there are a couple of pre-built, already made just for you to use RSS Power Automate that allow you to subscribe to RSS feeds on those different blogs we spoke about um, a few minutes ago. So without having to actually go and visit that blog on a daily basis, you can use Power Automate to monitor that RSS feed for that blog. When the change happens and something's added, it can send that information through to you in any format you want. 
um, in the organization I work in. I use two ways. I get a notification in email, so I have it in my inbox, and I can then get a quick squiz through it and make sure I'm, I'm at least up to date with it. And we also publish this into a Microsoft Teams channel, so when there's a change, our whole team is notified of the blog updates, so that everybody has access. Just because you have these blogs doesn't mean you have to go and memorize every one of them. But one of the great things with having the information delivered to you in an email or a, a digest you can quickly run through is you can get a gist of what's changed and what, what's coming without going into detail. So that when that comes in a conversation or you are doing a solution build, it'll, you could, your mind will be triggered and say, hey, I remember seeing something about that changing um, on how to do concurrency in a Canvas app. Um, let me go and find that, do a search on it, check that blog. Um, and it's a great way of actually getting a bit of tacit information that's available to you. So not only do you have access to wonderful Microsoft resources in the forms of the blogs they provide, you also have MVPs that are creating phenomenal videos and content on how to use the Power Platform solutions. Um, as well as having built-in mechanisms inside of Power Automate provided by Microsoft for you to go and build your own digest creators or news editor creators or data pullers that will pull their information from those different sources and notify you when those change. So very, very easy to do. And if you do these things, you have a very good chance of remaining really current on what's happening in the world of the Power Platform.